Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to show you how you can quickly add motion tracking in Filmora 10. So what I mean is how the text comes up here and follows the person across the screen. And I'm going to show you how you can add text to this or how you can add a blur to this or how you can add an object to follow the person in video. You can do this in seconds with Filmora 10. Let me show you how. So if you haven't used Filmora 10 before, I think this is one of the easiest video editors out there that you can create some great looking videos. I'll put a link to my tutorial down below in the description and up above in the card. But let's get started on this tutorial with motion tracking. And what I'm going to do is I already imported some of my media and I'm just using this one and I'm dragging it down to the timeline. I'm going to match the, the settings. And so what I have here is just this person doing the layup and I'm going to be tracking him and adding an object and blurring and different things to it. So I'm going to go to the very beginning, bring my playhead back, a couple of ways to get to motion tracking. And you can go to it from clicking right here and or else the other way you could double click on the clip and you get to see all the different options and this is the motion tracking so i could turn it on here or like i said you could just click on here and get to the same point now when it's turned on this turns green and i get this rectangle that i need to show what i want to have tracked and the object has to stay in frame uh, the whole time it can't just it can't disappear somewhere so it needs to track it uh, i'm going to make this smaller here and I'm going to put it over the person's head. And what I found works easier uh, than the whole body because he's dribbling the basketball and uh, it seemed to get stuck on the basketball sometimes and not knowing what to track. So I'm just going to try it like this and I'm going to hit start tracking and it's going to render this through and you can see it's following. Uh, sometimes if it doesn't track right the right uh, first time, go back and maybe uh, change it, uh, tweak the, the what you're selecting. But I can see I like what it, it tracked it all the way through um, for me. So I'm going to leave it like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some text to this. And I'm going to go and just hit OK. And I'm going to go to Titles. And I'm just going to go ahead and use uh, the same one that I did in the demo is this one. And I'm going to drag it down up above so you can kind of see it's uh, right now it's just this text demo and I'm going to double click on it and uh, what I can do is open up I can size it now so I need to shrink this down so I'm going to shrink this down here and you can see it's not all grouped together so you got to go through and uh, move these around put them in how you want and I'm just going to make this a little smaller here and hopefully this goes back here and I'm just going to nudge this down and I'm just going to leave the text as it is for right now. So if I go back, you can kind of see it will appear above his head right there. And so I'll leave it like that. And I wanted to start following uh, his head at that point. So what I got to do is if I go to here and you can see I'm back under motion tracking, what do I want? So I drop down, it's the call out, and that's what I added here. So now, if I go back and play this, you can see it's a little bit off. It's tracking him, so the way I put it on. So I'd have to, uh, if, I, if I go back to where it comes on, right here. So if I go back, and then I can see, well, I want to adjust this, right? So I could double click on this and open this up and move it over to here. So you can go through and adjust these things. So I'll move everything over. And if I want to type in here, you can see you can just click in here and I can put motion. I'll put motion in there. And you can see now if I go ahead and it matches where his head came up and it's tracking him across. So it goes all the way through and it will disappear right there. But I could grab this. I can make this longer if I wanted to go through to the very end like this. So that's how I added the text part first. So let's go add something else now. So I'm going to just delete this and let's try it with just some blurring. So I'm going to go back and hit OK. And this is where I like. Um, so if, I, if I'm on the clip and I go back to motion tracking, blurring works super easy. So if I go through here, drop down, add a mosaic right here. So if I click on this, you notice I get the mosaic. I can shrink this. And maybe I want to cover his face the whole time like so. And I'll just go like this and I can go through, I can change the type and everything, the blur amount. I can go through and adjust all these things on it. And I'll just hit uh, okay. 
and let's watch this and now I have this blur following so this is handy when you're if you have a face and you don't want a certain face in there and the person's moving you can add that mosaic through the motion tracking and it will stay uh, with it so let me show you one more thing here we'll go back I'm going to click on the motion tracking actually I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to go back to my media and let's say a picture so in this case this is just an object of a dog you can see it it's on a transparent background just a picture I'm gonna have it the same length of the entire clip so I'm just gonna drag it to fit here to the very end like this and I need to shrink this so I'm just gonna double click on it and I want to grab the handles I'm gonna bring my this back to the beginning here and I'll go back and click on it I'm gonna move it down shrink it right down to here and I'll put it over his face like so Go back to here, go back to motion tracking if it's not open, drop down, and it's called unnamed this one. So I'll hit OK and watch now, it will follow right along. So just like that, I've added three different types uh, of motion tracking to this. Very simple to do. Uh, if you want to learn more about Filmora 10, uh, just check the tutorial. Like I said, this is a super easy uh, uh, video ed editor to use. I hope you liked this tip on motion tracking this week on Teachers Tech. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.